everyone in YouTube land. Camaro Kurt here. Uh, Kurt Giuliani. Um, got my Vatera. My Vatera Ascender K5 Blazer all done. Uh, telling you guys on social media and some of my comments. I'm going to do a rig review. So here we go. Um, I think it turned out pretty sweet. Uh, with the emblems from Custom Cuts. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link below for everything uh, that I've done, used, uh, to my, uh, to Mia, mirrors, um, boom racing wheels from A to T's, uh, show my cow RC support, RC sparks, and the boom racing. Oh boy. We got a barking dog. Um, probably can hear me talking. It's late. So, uh, shot of the front end. Uh, yeah, my lights. Let's see Camaro Kurtz in there. As you all know, I've got the ESS-1 um, sound module in there. Uh, so, here we go. I'll uh, adjust the camera and uh, get a top view of this so you guys can see everything that I've done a little bit closer than how it is now. But, uh, Alright, I'll go over a rig review for you. Alright guys, so here we are uh, on the bench, uh, taking uh, take the cover off for you and show the underside of my uh, Viterra here. And you see I got no body posts. What, I what I've been using is uh, earth magnets. So I'll plug this, get you out of the way. I'll start out on the underside of the body. Two metal strips here um, for the magnets to grab. I took and uh, used plasti dip. I brushed it on the underside so you don't hear the noise. Plus then if you can see, um, I ran my light wires along here. Plasti dipped over it kind of conceals them, holds them in place. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this or not. I've got a camera without a viewfinder uh, on the front side, so um, hard for me to tell what I'm filming, what I'm not. Poking and hoping here. So I used uh, foam, cut out some foam, drilled the hole, put the light in it. Um, you've seen the show it to you with the lights on before we started this part of the video. Um, yeah. So, in uh, custom cuts, um, die cut emblems, uh, Maya mirrors, um, light kit, not sure the brand, I picked it up on eBay. Um, Got a multi-function switch that I just have laying here. You can zip tie it all the wires together. Ran this wire under the metal plate so it doesn't get in the way. Alright, that's enough of that. I have run this so there's a few scratches. Alright, well, I wasn't going to do an interior, but then, uh, I had a, a used wreath interior to mock it up and I got this new one just got it in a day or so ago so then you can be sitting in the driver's seat and have a passenger um, again I use the uh, earth magnets glued them to a piece of uh, clear Lexan um, what works good is uh, weld hood shields um, 
can get them at Menards, Walmart, you know, or I don't think Walmart has them actually. I got mine at Menards uh, in the welding section. Um, so then I just uh, body clip the interior panels in here, like so. That fits nice and snug in there, kind of conceals some stuff. So I've got the motor. Uh, these materials take the shorty pack. Got my ES1 uh, sound module, Velcro strap. I think what I might do is just put Velcro on the back side of it. Um, I'm running the Axial SCX10 stock setup for for power uh, 27 turn motor. Um, again, I used to mount the to mount the interior um, what I did was I just took a piece of the clear Lexan um, bent it, you warm it up I put it in a vise, warmed it up and bent it then used the uh, posts um, for the rock sliders I just screwed it into there I painted it to help conceal the wires and stuff. Um, the back, this is a microwave bowl. Um, I think it was a breakfast bowl. I just cut in half, screwed it together. And this too is, is a meal. Um, microwave bowl bowl. I thought it would work, look perfect for this. Um, I was going to do the rectangular back here. In fact, I did. I didn't like how it fit and looked, didn't look as nice as the front does. Uh, so, radio, um, to waterproof that I just did the balloon trick with a couple of zip ties. Um, for the ESC, I used a project, or a, yeah, what's called a project box from Radio Shack. And I put the ESC in there, drilled some holes for the wire use Plasti Dip. Um, I have not Plasti Dip the cover on yet. I wanted to run it a couple times. I didn't plan on getting it wet. Especially with this. The sound system is not waterproof as far as I know. But yeah, what I might do is put a piece of Velcro here and here instead of the strap because it does kind of move around. Um, but it works for now. Just a kind of mock-up stage. what I did there. Um, yeah, I just took the clear plastic, glued the magnets to it, drilled some holes so that it mounts up to the body posts. Seems to work alright. If you have a rollover, a real bad rollover, the body does seem to come off. But for what I'm going to do with it, it'll be alright. Um, I've also got lights in the bumper. Got blue lights here, red lights back here. Um, I ordered these boom racing wheels from uh, Asia Tees, and uh, if I ordered so much money worth of product, they send you the light kit for free. So it came with white ones too. I didn't use those. Uh, so that's pretty much it. It's uh, stock. The Terra Ascender. Um, I've run it twice now. I like it. I'm running right now. I'm running the uh, 2075 Traxxas servo. Um, doesn't seem to be strong enough when I'm turning this way and hit something. It automatically pushes it over, even if I'm still turned. So I don't. I don't know if it's a servo, just the servo, or if all tracks of servos will be too light for me. Um, I've seen some people who are going to use a high tech. I'm thinking maybe I'll try that. Other than that, that's about it. Um, I'd like to thank all my subscribers uh, and thank you for watching, even if you're not a subscriber yet. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Um, and uh, 
hope to get some more trailing videos out there with this guy and then a couple of my other trucks. Uh, so hope you like how I how my Patera turned out. And, uh, thank you. Well, I hope you guys liked uh, my review on my uh, Latera, how it turned out and everything. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. Um, as I said before, uh, if you're not a subscriber yet, click the subscribe button if you like to see more uh, with my Vatera Ascender. Uh, I've also got an SCX-10, uh, a couple of tracks of Slash trucks that I haven't played with in quite a while. So um, keep in touch. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed my uh, Vitera review, uh, how I did everything. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Um, if you liked what you see, want to see some more, click the subscribe button. Uh, go ahead and click the like button. Share it if you want. Uh, I enjoy uh, seeing people enjoy my work. Um, gives me kind of the drive to do more. Thank you everybody, and RC on.